those of you who watch my videos regularly, you'll notice that I'm not at home anymore. I'm at university in Cambridge, and that's a really good thing for me. But it kind of makes the title of this video a lie. But I promise it's not a lie. I did a f**k ton of work back at home before the powers that be let me back to Cambridge. Um, so I'm going to show you that to you now. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, I'm working from home. So let's make the most of it. It's crucial to always wear protection while studying. A few moments later. Playing with your balls makes a good distraction. So, I'm about to start doing a online lab. Um, they haven't actually been too bad. Uh, some of the Python was a bit tedious, and uh, the reports are kind of useless. But they're still quite interesting, they're just missing that practical element that I really love in labs. So, oh well. Today, I'm doing something slightly different. I've um, got this huge project called the IDP that I'm working on. Uh, and I'm doing the tutorials for this online, well not online, this robot simulating thing called WeeBots. Um, let's take a look at the uh, simulation I'm working on. So here we've got a little robot, a ball, some blocks, this is an arena, some blue walls and a dumbbell. And uh, let's get this running. I don't know why the dumbbell falls through the floor. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it turns out I'm really dumb. I didn't uh, define the bounding object of the dumbbell properly, so that's why it's falling through. So if we, I run this again, yay! And then apply a force. hit the robot. Ooh. Welcome to Zoom University. Or maybe Microsoft Teams University. I mean, it depends on how the supervisor's feeling. So that's the end of the section about working from home. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about why I came back to Cambridge, because obviously the UK is in a pandemic right now, and many people would think, oh, you know, that's breaking government guidelines, that's wrong, why are you doing that, you should have stayed at home. Um, I don't have to justify myself to you, I'm going to make that clear, but I think it's, you know, I think it's right that I give a few reasons. The first obvious reason is studying. When I'm in this room, when I'm in Cambridge, I have a lot of facilities that I can access, to make it easier for me to study and do well. Pretty basic. The second reason is kind of a mental health reason. I have a condition called misophonia, and that essentially means that I get distracted really easily uh, when there's noise. So, for example, if I was at home and there's a noise going on, I don't know, hoovering, whatever, that really, really impinges on my ability to work. Like, I can't focus, I can't study. Now, technically, misophonia is not a diagnosable condition, which means it's not recognised by a lot of medical boards. Um, I spoke to my tutor and, you know, he was understanding and kind of worked through the situation. And now I'm back here and I can study and it's really good for me. Those are fairly serious reasons, but let's have a look at some of the more fun reasons why I'm back in Cambridge. Numero uno, my stuff. Got Baby Yoda. We've got a bunch of uh, books on rockets and engineering. Got my Arduino stuff. I mean, I didn't take my Arduino stuff home, but you know, didn't have any time to do much with it. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, Lego minifigures, that's fun. Um, 
I'm a kid. Numero dos. My own personal toilet. Numero tres. My monitors. Now to finish up this video, I'm going to talk about something that I mentioned earlier in my working from home section. The IDP, or Integrated Design Project. So, I've put quite a lot of work into this. Others put more work than me into this, but you know, shh. Um, it was mainly done on a software basis, and software is not my strength, so can't really help that much. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at what we did, and what the final outcome of this project was. The goal of the IDP is to program a pair of robots to pick up blocks in an arena and put them in squares in the centre. As part of the mechanical team, I designed a grabber that could pick up the blocks. Here's a clip of the test model running in the simulated environment. As you can see from the frame rate, my computer really hates this software. And this is the final result. You can see that the robots scan the environment and create these maps from which they navigate. They then scan the blocks, detect the colour, and return the ones of the right colour to the right squares. The end of the IDP consisted of two competitions, and in the first competition, our robot did terribly. We got 90 out of 280 points, which is disgraceful really. Um, but in the final competition, we got 240, which isn't perfect, but we only lost due to a software glitch. Well, not even a software glitch, I mean it was the physics of the simulation. Um, others were also unlucky and had a similar issue. We wouldn't have been able to do anything if it hadn't been for one team member, and that team member was Tom. Tom is a god of programming, and he made all of this work. Ours is probably the most complicated design that the IDP has had in years, and we almost pulled it off. Thank you for watching this video, um, and thank you for subscribing, because I recently passed 300 subscribers, and that's way more than I thought I was ever going to get, like, not going to lie, I thought maybe this channel would die at about 100, but, you know, the support that I've been getting is really good, and I just want to say thank you, and if you aren't subscribed, subscribe now.